Hello, fourth year. How are you? Fine. Well, I will take attendance, okay? Well, uh, Paula, Joaquin, Tiago, Camila, Vanina, remember to put, uh, to write there, yes, uh, here, yes, in the Google Classroom, all right? So I understand and I see that you are there and you have seen the class, okay? Uh, another thing, all the things that you have to hand in, yes, the worksheets, the things, the tasks I ask through the Google Classroom must be on time, yes? Because if you don't send on time, it is not fair for the rest. I have already repeated many times, okay? It's not because I don't want to correct, because I want everything to be fair for everyone, okay? Yes, good. Well, as regards the photo shot, today I will show you some photos because you didn't know how to do it, uh, if it was a collage, yes? I will give you some tips, yes, for the next photo shot, yes? But it's art. The photo shot for me is art, yes? Then I will show you some pictures, yes? I have already sent the comments if there were any mistake there yes but it's uh, individual yes you have already seen and when you see the comments i want you to book okay teacher to write me back okay if you don't write me back i don't know if you have seen my correction so i want your feedback okay good well um shall we go very quickly to the today pages, yes, today pages. I want you to copy the today pages plus the date, yes, okay, yes, teacher, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Se ve bien, porque está cargadísimo en la tinta, eh, okay, good. Uh, from the class book, it's unit two today. Yes? Is it clear? Plus the homework. Yes, pages 12, 13, 14, exercise 1, 15, eh, sorry, 1, 4 and 5, yes, and page 15, okay? 7A and B. Is it clear? So this is for today, yes? All right, so I want you to put, uh, remember to rewind and stop, yes, whenever you are, or whenever you need, yes. So we're going to start with 21, 22, 20, 23, and 24, okay. So put the date, the date is done, well, so we can start, okay. So in number one, yes, okay, which world, which world, is the old one out, yes? Okay, I want you to tell me, do it, yes? And then we check, yes? Which is the old one out? Then we are going to do two, yes? Three and four. Tell me when you are ready, yes? Okay, in number one, what do you have there? Yes? One, dance. Okay, well done. Number two, play. All the others are people. Number three, dancer. All the others are types of performance. Number four, act. The others are people. Number five, singer. All the others are groups, yes, or musicians. And number six, clown, yes? All the others are types of performance, yes? Okay, is it hot at home? Yes, okay, good. Number two, well, are you there? Yes, so we are going to listen, yes, okay? Read the statement while I prepare, while I prepare the listening, okay? 
Track 8. Unit 2 Opener. Listen. 1. I love going to the theatre and I especially love seeing new drama. But I think a lot depends on the director. Sometimes you can get marvellous actors and a great play. But if the director is wrong, then the whole thing can be disappointing. We usually go a couple of times a month if we can. We take turns choosing what to go and see. 2. I've never been to anything like it before, but I have to say I really enjoyed myself. They recorded it for television and there were 10 different choirs in the competition. The standard of the singing was excellent. Honestly, they were as good as professional, even though they were all amateurs who just sing in their free time. It's on every year, so I am definitely going back next year. 3. I love all the colour and movement and energy and excitement of events like this. When there's a big audience, the atmosphere is brilliant. I think it's really important to keep traditional dancing alive as well. So it's great when young people join in, like they do here. Okay, remember, if you need to listen again, rewind the video, pause, yes, and then do the activity. I will give you the answer. Two, number one, drama, play. Number two, choir. Number three, show and musician. Yes, and then I want you to do exercise three. Yes, listen again and answer. Yes, which person is talking about the photo and what other, what other two people talking, uh, what are the other two people talking about, okay? Do it, all right. Number three, answer. The theater, the choir competition, and the photo, okay? Good. All right, well, um, the thing is, I want you to put number four, I want you to put talking, yes, speaking, yes, and tell me, are you interested in arts? Yes, this is a, the question I want you to talk at home, yes? Uh, how often do you go to concerts? How often do you go to the theatre, to shows? Yes, what kind of shows do you go? What types of shows? Yes, events, yeah? What traditional events in your country or region do you enjoy? Yes, rock event, yes, okay. Do you like taking part in things or do you prefer being the audience? Yes, okay, if you go to a folklore uh, exhibition, do you like taking part in it or do you want to be the audience? Okay, is it clear? Well, I want you to talk at home about this or think about the things you will say about art, okay? So let's go very quickly to 22, 22, and we are, go we are going to talk about music, yes? Okay, uh, do you like the same kind of music that your parents, for example? Yes? What's your favorite album, yes? Do you like all the tracks in an album, yes? How do you usually listen to, listen to music, yes? How, yes? When, yes? When you are uh, bored, what time, for example? At what time do you listen to music? Yes? When you are about to sleep, after dinner, before dinner, while you are doing the homework, for example. So I want you to think about all this and talk for some minutes at home. Yes? Think about the answer and organize your ideas. And in exercise two, I want you to highlight the words catchy, cheerful, interesting, lively, all the words there, yes, sad, yes, unusual, okay? So I want you to listen to six people, six music clip, yes, okay, read the statement, yes, are you there? Track 9, Unit 2A. 1. 
Okay, listen again. Yes, remember to pause the video, do the activity, and then listen to the answers. Okay, I will give you the answers. Are you ready? Yes, okay. So, number two, yes, okay, we have already talked about that. Yes, uh, how you listen to music on headphones, on a cell phone, on a PC, yes, on vinyl. Yes, okay. Have you got a vinyl? Yes or no? Yes, a vinyl record. Yes, okay. Or your parents. Yes, my house. Yes, okay. And on a PC, yes. Uh, if you listen to music as a background when you are listening, when you are doing the homework, for example. So I want you to think about this. When you think about music. Where, when, yes. The time mm, that you always choose to listen to music. Do you use it for relaxing? Yeah? What kind of music do you listen? A music that must be catchy? Yes? Uh, lively? Uh, something repetitive? Yes, for example, some uh, pop music. Yes? Uh, must be catchy and repetitive. So it's always sounding. Yes? It's sung. Yes? All the time. So it's catchy and then you are singing and singing and singing. Okay? Well, uh, number three, Bossa Nova, Brazil, then Bangra from India, 
flamenco from Spain, reggae from Jamaica, Celtic from Ireland, township jive from South Africa. Yes, those were the rhythm that we have seen the music clip from one to six. Six, okay. Well, let's go to number four. Yes, so you have to read the article about music today. Yes, you have to say it, what's the article about A, B, or C. All right, yes, okay, do it. Yes, I wait for you. Okay, remember to pause the video, do the activities, and listen to the answer. Yes, yeah? because I will say everything quickly. Yes, all right, so. Uh, what is the text about? Yes, A, B, or C? Good, Paula. Is C. Music and new technology. Yes, do you agree, Tiago? Yes, okay, good. Well, number five. Let's go to number five. Read the article again. And we are going to talk about the article. Yes, read it. And I want you to highlight, highlight the words there. I will show you, all right? Yes, music store, music websites, vinyl records, music online, release, go on tour. All right, good. Remember that all the charts, all the must words, yes, uh, the keywords must be highlighted, yes. Okay, well, what do you think about this? Is it easy to find music stored in town centers? Yes or no? Is it difficult here in Formosa? Yes or no? No, it isn't. Well, I, I don't know. Yes, okay. They have all gone from town centers, yes? Okay. It isn't easy. Yes, for example, in Formosa, we only have Formosa Musical. Yes, you know where Formosa Musical is? Uh, I think it is in Mitre Street, between uh, España Street and... Um, what do you know? España and... La calle de la policía, the police station, street. Saavedra. Saavedra. España and Saavedra, yes? So there is Formosa Musical where you can find uh, vinyls, instruments, yes, CDs, yes, the music. Do you download music? Uh huh. Where do you take the music from? Okay, where, you, where do you get the music you listen to? Yes? Through YouTube? Yes? Uh, which is the name of um, the one we listen to, uh, every day, the music? Um, do you know the name? Um, the application, the application. Spotify. Spotify, yes, thank you. Because it went okay from my mind. Okay, well, number two, yes, it says why there are more music websites nowadays, yes, because internet connections are faster and cheaper, yes, this day, well, than before and in the past. But I don't think it's very cheap, yes, depending on what you what you pay okay number three how do you listen to music for free yes we can listen to musician websites and other streaming websites streaming web websites also yes okay and number four why is it not easier to listen to international musicians bands and singers from all over the world release their music online nowadays yes direct yes okay well um do you think musicians should um, should release their albums or some of their songs for free? Yes, because I know that some of them do it. But do you think our concerts are, are very expensive nowadays? Yes. Okay. When you go for concerts, when you go to the concerts, uh, do you pay a lot? Is it cheap or is it uh, not very cheap, yes, when you go to see your favorite band, yes, okay, well, so, um, talking about this, I have prepared, can you see this, yes, okay, I will uh, turn off the light, yes, what's this, do you know what's this, 
It's a speaker. Yes? Okay? What's this? Okay, what's this? What can you see in this picture? Yes? Okay, what is the topic? In the first one, we have a speaker. In the second one, there's a woman with her guitar. Yes, or I don't know if it is a woman. Yes, or maybe a boy, man. A piano, a woman. Yes. And a guitar. Yes? Okay? So, if you have to say the topic of these photos, what is the topic? Yes? What's the topic? Music. And this is a Photoshop. Yes? A combination of photos. Yes? That mean something. In this case, music. If you see the speaker, you will say, okay, if you see a record, a vinyl, music will come to your uh, mind, okay? And then you can add, that what I said, what I asked, uh, you can add some signs. For example, what is music for you? Music is the soul or something. The soul of something. What is music for you? What else? Think about what music is for you. Yes? And then you can add different signs. Yes? Okay? What's that? Music, soul, yes? Feelings. What feelings do you have if I say music? Okay? Yes? Energy. Okay. A different kind of things. Yes, that's uh, what I ask. Yes, and well, we were in um, at home, but the thing of a photo shot is that you can go outside and take photos in the streets. Yes, in your house, at school. Yes, and prepare a kind of collage. Yes, okay, about the topic you want. Well, so let's go to page 23, page 23, and you have present perfect, yes? Remember the present perfect, how do you form the present perfect, yes? Okay, the subject, yes? The subject plus how or has, yes? Plus the third column, the past participle, okay? And... Which are the adverbs, okay? Uh-huh, yes. Just. For. Since. What else? Uh-huh, already. And yet. Yes? Remember the yet for negative and interrogative sentences. Have you studied yet? I haven't studied yet, all right? I haven't finished, yes, I haven't finished yet. I have just finished my homework. I have studied for three days. I am recording classes since the morning, since three o'clock, okay? Yes, do you understand? Yes, so we already know, yes, all of this. So we are going to do, pay attention, nine, 10, 12, 13. Repetition, 9, 10, 12, 13. And you have to highlight the charts. Present simple, present, present perfect, sorry. Yes, all the charts already, yet. The words there from the speaking. Yes, a comic, a show, a festival. Are you there? Remember to pause the video. Yes. Do the activity and then listen to the answers. Don't cheat, okay? Yes? Good. Well, are you there? Can I go tonight? Okay. 
have become, has lost, have risen, have realized, hasn't gone up, have paid. Number 10, has sold, have been, haven't heard, hasn't had, has happened, has recorded. Yes? Okay? Let's go to 12. Haven't listened, have lived, have been, have known, haven't been, have had. Okay? Yes or no? Well, we're done. 13. 1, D, 2, A, 3, B, 4, C. 1, D, yet. 2, A, already. 3, B, yet. 4, C, just. Okay? Good? And then we have the speaking part. Yes? In the speaking part, I want you to highlight the words. Yes? Only highlight the words. Yes, because these are words that may, um, might help you when you are organizing ideas to talk about music, okay? Album, song, track, yes, concert, an exhibition, yes? Okay, are you used to going to exhibitions? What kind of exhibitions are you used to going, yes? Do you want, do you like uh, being part of the exhibition? Yes, do you like being part of the exhibition? Or do you like being the audience so this is a good question for you to answer at home all right yes good so let's go to um page 24 24 talking about emotions yes emotions yes okay um tell me what kind of things can change your mood yes for example, one thing that can uh, change my mood is uh, when I have a plan of something and I can't complete the task I have planned. Yes? And what about you? Yes? Uh, is there anything that puts you in a bad mood? Yes? So, remember, uh, what things puts you what things put you in a bad mood or in a good mood yes can you say yes think about that uh, if you have a little brother yes when your little brother touches your things at home for example so you have to think about uh, what things put you in a good or a bad mood yes okay uh, think about this because then I will ask when you come back. Yes, I was asking for some videos also in the other on the in the other courses. So um, according to my plans, yes, you will have a task, an oral task, not this class, but then yes, depending on my plan, and I will ask a task, and you will in three minutes you will record a video and you will send me, and I will. Um, evaluate this video yes correct the video see you will see the comments because in this way I will help you with the oral form yes okay many students were asked to do this but not yet okay but think about this yes because I want to know uh, what things put you in a good mood yes uh, something that puts me in a good mood is when I do uh, the things I have planned yes correctly on time yes and the opposite puts me in a very bad mood okay good uh, this virus puts me in a very bad mood yes okay because i am working oh my god the double okay good well um when you listen to a song yes does it make you feel like crying yes what makes you uh, feel like crying? What makes you feel like laughing? Yes, okay? So think about this, yes, okay? What makes you feel like 
Yes, laughing. Oh, like crying. Yes, okay, I'm in exercise one. So I want you to highlight all the words. Yes, because I am giving examples of these words, okay? What makes you feel like crying, like laughing. Yes, okay. A film. Yes, okay, it can be a song. Yeah. Uh, what happens when you can't stop crying? When you can't stop laughing? Yes, I can't stop laughing. Um, when somebody uh, makes a good joke, for example, yes, when I see a, a film, yes, okay, good. And um, what makes you cry and smile, yes? What makes you cry and smile? Think about this, yes? One thing that make me, makes me cry is when my little children are sick, for example, yes? Okay, because I, because I can't manage the situation, I can't deal with the situation. Yes, okay. Um, something that cheers me up. What is something that cheers you up? Mm, yes, okay. What's, what is something that makes you feel sad? Yeah, well, when my children are sick, it makes me feel sad. Yes, uh, it cheers me up when they are okay. Yes, when they are not sick. Okay, so think about your emotions. Yes. And highlight these words, okay? Well, I want you to do number three, yes? Uh, discuss these questions, yes? What kind of dances are traditional in your region or country for glory? We know. Have you ever seen, uh, have you ever been to a dance class or been part of a class or learned, yes, a dance? Do you enjoy dancing? Yes, do you dance in special occasions? Yes, which ones, okay? Which dance, okay? Is there a dance or kind of dance you'd like to be able to dance? Yes, to be able to do, for example, uh, reggaeton, um, salsa, yes, okay? Ballet. So we are going to do the listening number four, but first of all, post the video, talk about emotions, and then do exercise four. I will pass the listening. Okay, I will play the listening. Track 12, Unit 2B. Bruce Daly is the owner of a dance studio in London. He runs dance classes for all ages. He spoke to us about his work. I adore dancing and I can't imagine doing anything else with my life. I've taught hundreds of people to dance. It's wonderful. I opened the studio when I retired from dancing professionally. My first students were young kids. But these days, it has all changed. Everyone wants to dance. A lot of older people began coming when the big TV show started. They say it makes them feel young. It's wonderful to watch them. Many people have found a new social life here and made new friends. Two of my older students even got married last year. One of the great things about dancing is it can really change your mood. I've seen how dancing can affect people. Traditional ballroom dancing became fashionable a few years ago. It was really popular with young professional people. Once, a very angry and stressed out young man came to class. After a couple of hours, he left with a smile. The class changed his mood completely. Dancing has been my life, really. And starting the school was the best thing I've ever done. My injuries ended my career as a dancer 10 years ago, but opening the school gave me a new career as a teacher. Good. So that's nice, yes? Because dancing can change your mood, yes? Okay, teaching, yes, can change my mood, yes? Teaching puts me in a very good mood, but when you are here, yes? Okay, well, 
Good. Um, so he opened the studio when he retired. He retired, yes, from dancing professionally. A lot of older people began coming when uh, big TV shows started. Yes, bailando por un sueño. <laughs> well, not this, but, but not this one, but this kind of um, um, uh, programs, shows. Yes, okay, contest. Yes, number three. Two uh, of his older students got married last year. And once a very angry man was very stressed out, he came and a few weeks later, his mood changed. So for him, dancing was very, very positive. Okay, well, so I want you to go to page 25. Yes, 25. And you are going to do exercise 10. Yes. And 12. And highlight the grammar chart. Okay? Don't forget, yes, the differences between present perfect and past simple. Do you already know that? Okay? So I want you to highlight the chart. If you need more information, you can go to page 158. Yeah, 158 and you have the grammar summary and I want you to highlight the grammar summary, the uses, the form, yes, okay, the adverbs, the present perfect versus present continuous, is it clear? Yes, all right. Remember to pause the video do the activities and then see the answers, okay? Good. So let's go to the answer. Number 10. Are you there? Okay. Has been. Yes. Two. Started. Three. I've never had. Four. I've met. Five. I have become. Sorry. Have become. Didn't know. Realized. Has felt. And 12, the answers for 12, started, be careful with the difference there, haven't watched, saw, have been, have never tried, went, hasn't been, broke, haven't booked, didn't enjoy, did, come out, spin, spin, okay, good, well that's all, and I want you to put uh, an exercise 13 talking yes okay uh, it's a kind of interview yes i want you to follow the step to prepare an interview when you interview a person yes the what the where the why the when all the of questions yes have you ever acted in a play have you ever given a speech uh, have you ever played an instrument in public when was it Yes, did you enjoy it or not? Yes? Were you in a good mood or in a bad mood? And tell me, are you now in a good mood or in a bad mood? Okay? Well, um, remember that you have to put here in the Google Classroom, the, has the class has finished, and um, what well, I have erased there, but you have the homework, yes? You will have the photo, yes, from your uh, board, the photo pizarra, Yes, and you will have the homework there, activity books, pages 12, 13, 14, exercise 1, 4 and 5, and page 15, 7a and b. Yes, that's the homework. Okay, see you next class. Bye-bye.